going to stop here for five minutes. Where are we going today, Brian? Today we're going to see Cleopatra's Needle. We're going back three and a half thousand years in time. This was erected in Heliopolis in 1450 BC and was moved by Emperor Augustus in 12 BC to Alexandria where later on it fell and laid there for a few hundred years in the desert sand. In 1819 the Viceroy of Egypt Muhammad Ali presented Britain with this monument in commemoration of Nelson's victory in the Battle of the Nile. It is believed that the obelisk is haunted and this goes back to the story when the men brought the obelisk across the Bay of Biscay in boats the sea was rough and six of them were lost at sea and that people have said that you can hear the voices coming from the obelisk the other bit of hauntedness is that King Ramesses in 1300 BC changed the hieroglyphics on here on the obelisk and he's also supposedly haunting Cleopatra's needle. This right hand sphinx was damaged and this was done in the First World War. Uh, an airplane dropped a bomb near to this site on the main road there on the 4th of September 1917. If you just show the, show the scars there Brian, there's one there, hold there and over there. The bomb was dropped and it hit a tram at two minutes to midnight. They just killed the tram driver and also two passengers, injuring nine others. The bomb was meant for Charing Cross Station. It hit a gas main and also left a hole so deep that you could see the underground train lines. And as you can see today, the damage caused is still a reminder to us that the Germans also bombed London in World War I. As we take a look here, look at the shrapnel here left in the wall. Early bombings were done by Zeppelins, but by 1917, the Germans had advanced to a plane called the Gorta, nicknamed the Baby Killer after it hit a school in London. The benches along the embankment on this section are commemorating Cleopatra's Needle. There is also a time capsule under here from 1877 from the Victorian era containing Bibles, coins and newspapers and also 14 pictures of some of the most beautiful Victorian women of the age. I wonder which women would be on there today. Before we go, there's one more thing I'd like to mention is that the sphinxes are round the wrong way, they're supposed to be round the other way, protecting the obelisk. Well, now we're now going to move on to Victoria Tower Gardens to see one other point connected to Cleopatra's Needle. And we finish our Egyptian theme today. everyone for watching uh, we look forward to seeing you all again in 2021 thank you very much <laughs>